Done. Though I do wonder what happened to those prisoners. Did someone get hurt again? Don't trouble yourself too much about it, young miss. Commencing mission. Our memory restoration is proceeding rather smoothly, don't you think? I'll cut down everything in my way. I have visual confirmation on the target. Let's get after him! Enemy reinforcements confirmed. Eliminating. Restoration will be tonight's last, so let's pick up the pace. Okay. I must say, I've never met a human who saw weapon memories as dreams. So I'm weird? Of course not. You are a most valuable sap a a a client. Yes, that's it.
Oh, we're in the home stretch now. Let's go. Good luck, Mr. Monster. Prisoners remained frozen in place, like a people somehow out of time. The man and his wife look on, trying desperately to make sense of what is happening. Suddenly, the prisoners begin to march, their footsteps all in perfect sync. The man and his wife behold a sight most uncanny. Without a word, the prisoners begin to throw themselves into the depths below. Let's get these things cleaned up. I've got enough death for everyone. Don't let up. fellows. The officer begins to tell them about the strategy they use to fight the flowers. Though strategy is a kind word for it, experiment is far more appropriate. Data from the prisoners' battles with the flowers is recorded and analyzed. Any found wanting, or any who exhibit a sense of self, are determined to be defective, and are disposed of by the organization. When the man awakens, he sees his fellow prisoners. He is the only survivor. This is unforgivable. 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 
In the depths of the earth, the man emits a roar of pain. To think he lost not only his child, but his wife as well. Such sadness could scarce be described with words. At any rate, this concludes tonight's memory restoration. And now, the moment you've been waiting for, dream time! Eat the nightmares before our young miss here wakes up. You will need to consume many more dreams if you wish to become human, you know. Oh my! It's almost time for our young miss here to wake up! I had lots of fun today. See you tomorrow, Mr. Monster. Must be on our way as well. Is it now? Look over there if you would be so kind. After you! Let us proceed to the young Mrs. Dreams of tomorrow. Oh, but this is exciting! And, ah yes, there we are. Hello, Mr. Monster. I didn't have any dreams last night. Such is the power of a dream eater. He dined quite well. Oh yes. I'm excited for today, too. What might you need? Indeed, one might even call it my workplace. Not to boast, but I received the Performance MVP Award for this past year. Such a harsh response. Now then, let us get to restoring tonight's memories. The bath that was shown descended endlessly. Human stories are filled with obsession, jealousy, hatred, grudges, and hypocrisy. Ever commonplace and boring an observation it may be, 
humans can seemingly only find themselves in interactions with others. Those were also the girl's nightmares. She showed restlessness, sympathy, dread, and grief at every twist and turn. And I saw her as an innocent little creature. A creature of the exact opposite of myself. I felt not so much disgust, but fear. Fear that I had somehow taken an interest in this pure girl. I hope the dream isn't scary. The woman wakes in a dark and crumbling place. Pain races through her body. She thought she would die when she saved her husband from the commander. Yet she is still alive. But why? Trying to make sense of her piecemeal memories, she starts walking. Her location is a mystery. Eventually, she discovers people clad in the same clothing as her, collapsed among some rubble. Found you. Suddenly, her husband appears, along with some of her old fellow prisoners. The joy they feel in this moment 
is beyond all measure. Welcome back! Did you have fun? It seems to be a continuation of yesterday's dream. The one about the man who lost his family? The very same, although happily it seems the wife had survived. Yay! What? <laughs> 